Why is there so much talk about the end of the world? There are many convinced it is coming and tomorrow. We have heard this before, and the reason we're reporting on it tonight, the sheer number of people who now believe it. It was fueled by a Christian broadcaster who says, beyond the shadow of a doubt, May 21st will be the date of the rapture, the day of judgment. David Wright tonight on the fallout. In Florida, Michigan, California, and New York City, billboards sound the alarm. They've been warned of Judgment Day. Doomsday missionaries warn of apocalypse now. How about you, sir? They're followers of this man. It will be May 21. Harold Camping of Family Radio. What does he say will happen tomorrow? It'll be the beginning of Judgment Day, and it'll begin wherever the calendar says May 21. And that's, 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. That's the crucial time and day. Doomsday prophecies strike a chord in uncertain times, and today America is primed with natural disasters of epic proportions, a struggling economy, not to mention wars and the constant threat of terrorism. When people experience those cumulatively, they feel a loss of sense of control over their own lives. Perhaps that's why so many people are listening. The top three Google searches today, May 21 Doomsday, Harold Camping, and Judgment Day. The top Twitter trend is, if the world ends on Saturday. Even John Stewart chimed in, tongue firmly in cheek. Happy Friday, he tweeted. Consider this tweet your daily reminder of the coming apocalypse. Your days are numbered. Have a good one. But Harold Camping has been wrong before. If it doesn't happen, May 21st, 6 p.m., does that make you the, the preacher who cried wolf? It is going to happen. Interestingly, some of the people who've been very busy answering the phones at Family Radio told us not so much. They believe the world will end someday, just not tomorrow. And David, either way, they're worried whether they'll still have a job on Monday. David Wright in Los Angeles. David, thank you.